Let's talk about the great houses of Westeros from the TV show Game of Thrones. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Yes, we're going to walk through the great houses within the HBO series Game of Thrones and I'm going to give you a couple of Swedish words every now and then so you both get knowledge about the show and you learn some Swedish. Here we go. House Stark of Winterfell is a great house in the Westeros ruling over the region known as the North. Their words are winter is coming, vintern kommer, and their sigil is a direwolf in Jettevai. House Lannister took over the Seven Kingdoms and the Iron Throne after House Baratheon. They are the Wardens of the West and their seat is in Casterly Rock. Their sigil is a lion, et leon, and their words are Hear me roar, hör mig ryta, and a Lannister always pays his debts, and Lannister betala alltid sina skulder. House Targaryen of Dragonstone ruled the Seven Kingdoms for three centuries before it was deposed by Robert's Rebellion. The two remaining known Targaryens fled in exile, but one of them has come back as the Mother of Dragons. Their sigil is a three-headed dragon, en trehövdad drake, and their words are fire and blood, eld och blod. House Baratheon had their seat in the Red Keep at King's Landing. They took over after Jaime Lannister killed the Targaryen king Aerys II, also known as the Mad King. Robert Baratheon married Cersei Lannister, who later had him killed through her cousin. The Baratheon words are Ars is the Fury, Vi är raseriet, and their sigil is a stag, en gjort hane. House Tully ruled the Riverlands, and the head of the house was Lord of Riverrun. Their sigil is a trout in Öring, and their words are Family, Honor, Duty. Familie, Heder, Plikt. House Tyrell of Highgarden ruled over the Reach in southwest Westeros. Olena Tyrell took over the lordship after her son Mace and her grandchildren Loras and Marjorie were all killed by wildfire during the destruction of the Great Sept of Baelor. Their words were growing strong, at Vexa se stark, and their sigil is a rose, en rus. House Aaron of the Eyrie ruled over the Vale for a millennia. The Lord Protector of the Vale, Peter Baelish, assisted House Stark in defeating House Bolton at the Battle of the Bastards. The sigil is a falcon and a crescent moon, and falk och en halvmåne, and their words are as high as honor, so högt som heder. House Greyjoy of Pike rules the Iron Islands. Lord Balon's son, Fionn Greyjoy, was made a ward under Eddard Stark to ensure Lord Balon's submission to Robert Baratheon after a failed rebellion. Their sigil is a kraken, en krake, and their words are We do not sow, vi sår inte, and what is dead may never die, vad som är dött ska aldrig dö. House Martell of Sunspear ruled the southern peninsula of Dorne in the very far south. Prince Doran and Tristan were both assassinated by Elaria Sand and the three eldest Sand Snakes. Their sigil is a spear and a sun, et spjut och en sul. Their words are unbowed, unbent, unbroken, ukuvad, uböjd, ubruten. House Frey of the Twins came to their position through treachery against House Tully, their former lords. After the assassination of Lord Walder Frey and his sons Lothar and Walder by Arya Stark, and the subsequent killings of all male Freys thereafter, the line is uncertain. The words for House Frey is, we stand together, vi står tillsammans. Their sigil is two grey stone towers and the bridge of twins. Två grå stentorn och tvillingarnas bro. So there you go, a look into the great houses of Westeros. And let me tell you, let me ask you, are you following the show? What do you think about season 8? And where are we going to land? If you're watching this after the end of the series, what did you think? When was it good? When was it not good? Did it end well? And let me ask you, who's your favorite character? Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your interaction and I hope to see you the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye.